time, time for the big boss with the hot sauce. You see, that's me. I am the Gator with the heat and heat of being all the record. I play the single rock and bop and cheap bop. Once again, let me say greetings and salutations to the entire population of this half fantastic nation. My name is Gator, the big boss for the big hot sauce on what a show. It's a salute to Street Corner Harmony, and we've got Frankie Lyman along with the teenagers. We've got little Anthony and the Imperials, and we've got the fantastic Martha Reeves and the Vandellas to kick it off, taking you with the Gator Gold Dancers back to the year 1964. was their only number one sound. Dancing in the Street, written by Holland Dozer again, Holland. wonderful show for you. Little Anthony and the Imperials, Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers, we don't want you to touch that dial. When we come back, we show you how our Gator Gold dancers do a little dance called the Showdown. got a tremendous show for you. Hey, do you remember the year 1969? Well, let me take you to Houston, Texas. A group of young kids called Archie Bell along with the Drells. They have a number one record with a song called Tighten Up. But in 1969, they come back with the top 10 songs. We show you our Gita Gold dancers dancing to show down.
Showdown. Interesting because the young fellas that produced this song are from Philadelphia, Kenny Gamble and Leon Huff. They're originally recording this song on the Atlantic label, but in the 70s, Archie Bell and the Drells wind up doing a big hit for Philly International, a little dance called Soul City Walk. But right now, let's go back with Archie and the Gator Gold Dancers. Tell you, you keep on watching the show, and I promise you that you will learn all these dances that our Gator Gold dancers do. Showdown. Archie Bell, along with the Drells, as I said, the year is 1969. But in 1969, when Archie Bell and the Drells are really hot on the charts, there's a young guy from Brooklyn who began his career in the 50s. It is my pleasure right now to take you to my Gator Phone Vision and introduce you to little Anthony. The Gita, the Gita with the heater. <laughs> My man. <laughs> Anthony, nice to have you aboard. I got to ask you for our folks out there, where do you get the name, little Anthony? Alan Freed. Why? <laughs> uh, he thought that I was a really small guy because my voice was very small sounding. So he gave me the name, little Anthony. Isn't that something? Talking about Alan Freed, you know, he is the fellow that termed rock and roll, rock and roll. Tell me, my pal, give me your thoughts, because you worked at the very beginning with Alan Freed. Give me your thoughts on Alan. This particular man was something very unique, just as Sammy Davis was, mm -hmm. just as the Nat Coles was and the Frank Sinatra's, just as I can go on and on, all the great people, that very special person comes along and affects us all. He was one of those people. Uh, and no one knew at the time that this would happen. History. Uh, is going to tell us the truth about who Alan Freed was. Hi, everybody. How y'all? This is yours truly, Alan Freed, welcoming you to the Big Beat once again on radio, every night at 10. Anthony, what do you think his contribution was, though, to the recording industry? He opened the way for people like Dick Clark, mm -hmm. The Beatles, uh, 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 Elvis Presley, because if you imagine going back in time and having the ability to, 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 uh, to, to, to affect time, and some time machine, and take and pluck Alan Freed out of that whole thing, everything would fall apart. Everything would literally fall down like a house of cards, yeah. man. His contribution was absolutely immense. I, I agree with you. 1958, Tears on My Pillow, a unique sound. Who obtains that high falsetto sound that you have on that record? It, it was really George Goldner who really, I think, uh, released what I know as the sound. Oh, Anthony or little Anthony sound, whatever that is. Yeah, the owner of the um, label. I, he was the one that told me to, to sing like I talk. Because I was trying to be a baritone. I was trying to sound hard, just like all the other singers. And he said, I want you to sing the songs like you talk. You sound like a little girl, a little boy when you talk. And can you do that? Like, like Tears of My Pillow. You don't remember me. Like I originally would say, you don't, re you don't remember me, yeah. but I would sing it straight. But he would say, give me more emphasis on the, vo on the vowels, and you know, like a kid would do it. So I said, you don't remember me, mm. just like a kid. Da -da 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 you know, a kid. And that was the beginning of that sound. You don't remember me, but I remember you. Take you back and jump ahead. 
Call My Pillow, a top 10 record in 1958. The other side is just two kinds of people in the world. Talking with my buddy, little Anthony. Anthony Frankie Lyman. I know you worked with him and you recorded basically on the same label, but is that when you met Frankie Lyman when you were recording together? Well, I met Frankie Lyman earlier because I used to hang around the Brooklyn Paramount in those days when yeah. Alan Fee would bring in the shows, like mostly every kid in New York City. And, uh, and that's how I met him. Mm -hmm. How'd you enjoy working with the guy? I was so thrilled. And then meet him and hang out with him, that was, whoa, heavy stuff. I just was always at awe of him. All the way to, up to the day he died, I was at awe of Frankie. Love, put me out of my head. Magnificent, fantastic arrangement. Top five, Hurt So Bad in 1965. Anthony, got to ask you this, pal, because this is the paramount question. Your entire style is now changed in the 60s. Wonderful arrangements. Costa, Teddy Rendaza, whose idea is it? I think it was Teddy's idea. I, uh, I can't say this is written in stone, what I say, but I believe it was his idea and Don I, to collaborate. You know, you got to understand. Don Costa came out of the pop music uh, uh, situation, mm -hmm. and he really, really was the one that sort of integrated the two, right. the rock and roll with that pop sound. Now, I tell you, it had to be an experience working with Don Costa, who did wonderful things with Frank Sinatra. Yeah, it was, um, it was quite unique, I must say, um, mm -hmm. uh, quite exciting. Going out of my head, I think out of all of the things that you've recorded, is the one song that everyone associates with Little Anthony. Why is it a record like that is just absolutely timeless? 
the power of that song was so great that anybody who recorded that song would have had a hit. It was a song that was a hit, not Lil' Anthony Perez. I want to make that clear. Teddy Rondazzo wrote one of the great songs of our time. It's still a standard today. Anthony, I know you've got to do a show, my pal, and we're going to continue. You and I go back a long time. I just want to thank you for just being a part of On The Air. Yeah, I've known you a lot of years, man. You old folk like me. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, thank you, and I love you. Thank you, man. Bye-bye. Bye, Jerry. My pal, little Anthony. You know what his real name is? Anthony Gordine. Hey, let's go back to the year 1965. Barry Gordy writes a song for the group called The Contours. You will see our Gita Gold dancers dancing, too. First, I look at the purse. of Jackie Wilson. Now you remember Do You Love Me? Well, Do You Love Me reached the number one position in the R&B charts. This song on the Billboard chart hit at 28 in 1965. Break. But when I come back, I'm going to take you back to the year 1964 and let you hear the number one song and the number one group in America. I'm talking about the Supremes with the song, Where Did Our Love Go? Don't you go away. I want me some money. She can be coming with the rest. As long as she got some cash. I want a big
1964, it is number one for three weeks straight. The Fantastic Supremes with y'all shoot of the Gator. What a show. I got to thank little Anthony along with the Fabulous Imperials, the Teenagers with Frankie Lyman, Martha Reeves and the Bandellas, but more important for you folks out there, and the Gator Gold Dancers. Until we do it again next week, the Gator, the big balls for the big cop sauce with a reminder. Keep on rocking, because you see, you really only rock once. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.